It's so easy to, to judge others. But God calls us to be saintly in, in the merits of, of giving the benefit of the doubt where possible, to not judge others too harshly. It's one thing to judge an action. If somebody kills someone, you can say arbitrarily, that's wrong. If somebody lies, you can say objectively, that's wrong. You shouldn't lie. But to take a person's actions and judge them completely on one thing that they've done is, isn't right. Just because someone told a lie, you don't know what the, what the circumstances were. Maybe they were under pressure to do something. Doesn't mean that they're completely dishonest and that they're a liar. They've always been a liar. It's so easy for us to look at two plus two and add them up and say it's four. But sometimes there's other things going on that it's not just two plus two, it's two plus two plus seven. So it's 11, it's not four. I had a cousin who had a, a disease um, where she was constantly hurting. It felt like she had the flu 24 hours a day, seven days a week. But you couldn't see it from the outside. It wasn't any bruises. And first of all, it was really hard for the doctors to diagnose it. But when they finally did, they started to give her the medicine for it. But people just thought she was lazy because she laid around and slept all the time. Whether it was the medicine that was making her tired or whether it was just the fact that she was depressed because the pain would never go away. But she wasn't a lazy person at all. And it wasn't that she was, she was useless. It was that she was sick. And just because we can't see how sick someone is doesn't mean that they're not ill. Same thing goes for, for people's spirit. Maybe somebody's just miserable most of the time. It doesn't mean that they're a bad person. Maybe they're, they're hurting underneath. There's something going on that we don't recognize. St. Aloysius was kind of the antidote to that kind of thing. From the time he was little, he was very devout. He grew up in, in Italy. He was part of a very wealthy family. By the time he was 18, he determined that he wanted to join a religious order. And so at 18 years old, he signed away everything he owned, his rights, his inheritance, and joined a religious order and started working with the poor and the sick. And there was a plague in Italy at that time, and many people died from it including him after ministering to them for a couple of years. At the ripe old age of 23, he died. 500 years later, we're still telling his story. Because he didn't judge these people that, oh, well, they got sick, they, they mustn't have taken care of themselves, or, or they must be part of that low-class people, so, so they, uh, they got sick because they, they didn't care. No, he just cared for them where they were and took care of them even at the price of his life. We're called oftentimes to be the voice of reason, to be the voice of love, God's love in this world. I can't help when I think about this and thinking about the elections we had this, this past November, how people became so polarized. And the minute you said something about this, they judge you and you were in this corner. And the minute you said something about this, you were in that corner. And then it was all of a sudden this wall went up. Well, how are we ever going to convince people that perhaps what they're thinking is wrong thinking if we don't listen to them first, if we don't talk without judging and let them share what they have to share? And maybe, just maybe, our positions will be softened a little bit not in the core things that you can't give in on, but from some of the other issues that become so complicated, it's so easy to, to shoot the messenger. But it, unless we take the time to get to know one another and listen to one another and find out what the extenuating circumstances might be when they did something that, that upset us or said something or believed something that, that we don't believe in, unless we take the time to know them and to love them, we'll never be able to convince them otherwise. Because the bottom line is, people don't care what you know until they know that you care. 